You're taking us to the eye of the storm yeah, here. Well, uh, yeah, this is a uh, stock imagery, of course. This isn't happening right now, but just a little background. Just You, you mentioned at the beginning that we're almost halfway through mm -hmm. the, the hurricane season. So, uh, yeah, if you go June 1st to the end of November, you can kind of see this. Remember the old bell curve thing from, from what was it, math? Well, it was, yeah. it was math. <laughs> but... But uh, statistics or whatever. But yeah, it really ramps up in August, the chance for a storm in the in the Atlantic Basin really ramps up. It peaks right around Labor Day or so, and then it slowly drops off. Most of the storms are August and September and some in October as well. So we will see. There's still plenty of time. Wow, no storms at the beach. And look how many people are out there. The volleyball tournament is beginning, and there are going to be a lot of people there this weekend. The weather looks great along the coastline. Low 70s right now. Now, we do have the hottest weather of summer coming up next week. Several times this year, we've had heat waves. We've been in the low to mid 90s. I think we've had a couple days, 96, 98. Eh, okay, not such a big deal in our climate. But we think we're going to go above that this time, folks. And I think we're going to have very warm nights as well. So I'm pretty confident saying that next week is going to be the hottest week of summer. Probably when we look back, it'll be the hottest week as well. Right now, we kind of have this mild westerly flow. There's no real hot air near us. But watch what happens over the next few days. Big area of high pressure. I mean, you could call it a heat dome, I suppose. But a large area of high pressure, hot air overhead develops. And by Sunday, it's just offshore. That air sinks, it dries things out, and that compresses the marine layer. We basically lose our cooling from the ocean from there all the way until at least the middle of next week. It seems to reach maximum strength right here on uh, Monday night, Tuesday, right in here. And then it will probably weaken a little bit and back off. It's kind of connected in with that hot air over the desert southwest as well. But by next Thursday, we would think we'll start getting some ocean air at that point. Point is, heat wave update, here's what we're thinking. We're thinking we're, well, we'll be very confident somewhere between 95 and 105 Sunday through about next Wednesday or Thursday in the I-5 corridor. We have not been above the upper 90s so far. So that'll be Monday and Tuesday, the hottest days. I think we're going to go a little above 100. Big picture is, like I said, next week will be the hottest week of summer. I guess the big news is we're not going to be, you know, 15 degrees hotter than that and have all-time record heat. That's not going to be happening. But we think some low 100s may be in here Monday, Tuesday. We'll see about Wednesday. And some of those would be records. Sunday is more reasonable heat, by the way. And that's why we're not calling Sunday a first alert weather day. All right, so cloud cover-wise, no clouds coming up the next few days just a few thin high clouds the big change here is right there sunday morning see that we lose the onshore wind the wind is coming down off the cascades that's how we get hot so tomorrow nice again i think we'll be a little warmer 85 degrees in the afternoon a notch or two warmer on saturday 87 and then it turns hot sunday afternoon notice the overnight low temperatures are pretty reasonable through sunday so again sunday and eh, we've done this already this season but it'll be turning hot you'll notice that sunday afternoon find some water and then monday that's when things will take off. We'll talk more about that and what we are not going to see this time around with the heat. That'll be in the bottom half of the show.